Hey Portlanders, here's a question for you. How do you sell your house and buy a new one? It can sound intimidating and complicated, but it doesn't have to be. In this short video, I'm gonna break it down for you, take all the mystery out of it, and show you how it's done. I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor in Eastside Portland. Whether you're planning to upsize, downsize, or relocate, if you own a home, in most cases, you're gonna to need to sell it in order to purchase the next house. So how does it work? There are many ways to accomplish this, but let me explain two of the most common scenarios. Here's our first scenario. This is Richard. First, Richard puts his house up for sale. So I list the home, market it, hold open houses, and then we find a buyer that wants to make an offer. Richard accepts the offer, contingent on Richard finding suitable housing within a specified amount of time. The home is now pending. Now Richard goes house shopping. If Richard finds a house he likes, he'll make an offer on that home, contingent on the closing of his current home. The offer is accepted, and myself and the other agent help move everything smoothly to closing. However, if Richard can't find a place he likes in that specified time period, he could still sell the home and continue to live in his house for a period as a renter. Or he can terminate the transaction with the current buyer. Now let's look at scenario two. In our second scenario, Richard wants more time to search for a house that he likes. So he starts his search before listing this home. Eventually, Richard finds a house he likes and has me write and submit his offer. The offer is accepted, contingent on the successful close of Richard's current home. In the contract, Richard will have typically have 30 to 60 days to list his home and secure an offer to purchase it. If Richard accepts an offer for his home in that time, the two transactions move forward together. But if Richard doesn't accept an offer on his home in that time period, one of three things can happen. First, his offer to purchase the new home is automatically terminated and he can get his earnest money back. Two, the seller could agree to extend the contingency period so Richard can find a buyer for his house. Or Richard agrees to move forward with his purchase despite not having an offer on his current home. Now let's look at three tips for buying and selling at the same time. First. Before you start, take a look at what's out there to purchase. If you feel there are not a lot of good options for you, you may want to find a home and get it under contract before listing your own. Two, look at the marketability of your own home. I can help by providing a free comparative market analysis, better known as the CMA. If your home may be more challenging to sell, you may want to list it first. Finally, start thinking about when you want to be in your new home process can be lengthy, so getting a head start on it is always a recipe for success. Thanks for watching.